What is going on guys? Jeff here for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at a new product from Brightwell Aquatics. It is the Micro Vector XLM. Welcome back to another episode of Premium Aquatics where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision on what is right for you, your reef tank, and your wallet. And this week we're going to be taking a look at the new product from Brightwell Aquatics, the Micro Vector XLM. So let's jump into it. What's going on folks? So today we got a brand new product for you. We have the Brightwell Aquatics Micro Vector Start XLM. And what this is is a nitrifying bacteria product that's going to help you cycle your aquarium very, very quickly. Uh, right here on the front it says professional 15 strength live tank starter nitrifying biocultures for cycling a new marine fish or reef aquara. And what this is is a very strong product that is going to um, help cycle an aquarium rapidly there's a couple other different aspects that you can use with this let's say you're starting a new aquarium the recommended dosage for that is 30 milliliters to 25 gallons um, so if you have a smaller tank this 250 milliliter container is probably going to work out pretty good for you folks with a larger tank this 500 milliliter container is going to work out and folks for the large aquariums they also have the two liter um, option as well. And what I really like about this product is that it says it is 15 times the strength of normal nitrifying bacteria cultures that are out there. I've always been under the impression that these products, because it's bacteria, whatever the bacteria that you can't sustain in your system is just going to die off and then be removed through different you know, forms of filtration. Uh, this actually says that you can potentially overdose the bacteria and you want to make sure that you're maintaining under five times the recommended dosage. So if you exceed that, um, you are putting your tank at risk. And we talked about the recommended dosage for a startup is 30 milliliters to 25 gallons. So if you have a 100 gallon aquarium, you're essentially adding, was that 60, 100, 120 milliliters to a 100 gallon aquarium for a startup. Um, then they, the recommendations on here is at that point it's safe to add a hardy fish and essentially um, you'll have your tank cycled. In the event that you had some type of issue with your live rock, you removed a lot of your live rock, had to scrub it for whatever reason, you know, things happen in this hobby and folks need to pull rock out and give it a good scrubbing. And if that were something that happened to you, this would be a perfect product for you to reestablish the nitrifying bacteria in your aquarium once you added the rock back to it. And the dosage for that is 10, to 30 milliliters per 25 gallons. Uh, it's a little bit backed off. It's not, you know, it's not an aquarium that is completely decimated or completely new. There is some bacteria in there and you're just trying to give it a jump start. You may be seeing a little bit ammonia or NO2 in there. You want to get rid of it completely. Uh, this is definitely going to do it for you. And then lastly, in the event that you had to use some type of medication that killed off the bacteria in your system, Again, you know, that's gonna be the product that's definitely gonna help you out with that. One thing I would recommend is that you don't use any type of protein skimmer, UV sterilization, or ozone uh, that potentially could work against you when you're adding nitrifying bacteria to your system. So if you're looking to do a startup with your reef tank, definitely take a look at the Microbacter Start XLM. Uh, we've been using the Microbacter 7 for years now, which is also a great product for adding bacteria to your system. Uh, but now we have the Microbacter Start XLM from Brightwell Aquatics. So the next time you're cycling an aquarium, check out the Microbacter Start XLM. It's going to help you get your tank cycled faster because nobody wants to look at an empty aquarium for four to six weeks. If you want to take a look at this product, there's going to be a link in the description below which will bring you to Premium Aquatics where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. That's it for this one, and I'll see you next week right here with a brand new video.